Bro, look at the beauty. Let me focus it. Let's go. Look how beautiful that golden sky is. Going on an evening walk because it makes me feel alive. And I'm going to tell you how to feel more alive. Now, many years, and you've probably experienced this as well, right? You've wasted time. You've numbed your brain to the point of not even feeling human anymore. Do you know when you do something so disgusting that you don't even feel human anymore? Because I've done it countless of times, bro. I've been that guy. I've been that guy that just lives a degenerate lifestyle and hates himself and can't be asked to wake up in the morning. And I think there's a main thing we are missing. We're missing tapping back into what we tapped back into hundreds and thousands of years ago with ease. And that is our primal desires, our primal feelings that we should feel on a day-to-day -day basis. And it, it's not possible to do it all the time, right? This is something that, especially the things I'm about to tell you to do, you will not have the facilities to do this or the people around you to do this on a daily basis. But I'm gonna tell you a story from yesterday which has really shifted my mind on my habits and the way I perceive the way I live life, if that makes sense. So I met with some of my close online friends, close guys in the YouTube space and pursuing online business and self-improvement, right? And we had a weekend together. We had this Airbnb and everything. And on Sunday, we met up with a cold exposure group that one of the guys knew someone from. And I'd have, I just thought it would be is, you know, jumping in cold water, doing some breathing work. But bro, it was way more than that. It was so much more than that. Basically, it started with, we had this, this thing called the spirit bird. And it was like a stick with feathers coming off of it. And we'd pass it around and tell our story individually. And as we were coming around, we were talking about our fears and the things we're fearful of in life. And I talked about something that's been quite relevant to me recently, and that's re rejecting. I always had the fear of rejection, and I am overcoming that fear by cutting off toxic people that were once in my life, and how I've developed so much and being able to actually do them things, and saying that I'm grateful for the being around all these people that are like-minded. I want to feel alive, right? So we did this, and then we did three rounds of the Wim Hof Method. So that's the number one thing, right? Is breathing. On a day-to-day -day basis, you can do breath work separately, right? But on a day-to-day -day day I fucking can't talk. <laughs> on a day-to-day -day basis, you've got to be inhaling through the nose as much as you can. And I'm probably mouth breathing during this video, but I'm talking quite a lot. So give me a break, bro. Breathing through the nose on a day-to-day -day ba basis, bro. And talking properly, that's a good idea too. I think the main thing is... We, we haven't learned how to properly tap into our parasympathetic nervous system. The, the nervous system that helps us calm down through all situations, that makes us feel more confident naturally, just by some weird way, right? It makes us feel more confident. We can't really fully explain it. It makes us feel more confident, less anxious. It makes us feel just better people, right? Feel like better people. So we're tapping into this parasympathetic nervous system. And let's talk about cold exposure. It's probably the part you've been waiting for. But it wasn't. It wasn't just cold exposure, bro. We, uh, we, we went cliff jumping, right? Uh, in fact, before that, right, I'll, I'll leave that. I'll leave that there. But before that, I need to find a place to put down my camera so I can show you. We were fucking freezing our asses off. It was pissing down with rain. All right, you know, we were in this massive valley and around all these great friends. But we were freezing together. It's like, what can you do in order to stop freezing when you're around people? So we created this circle. Created this circle of guys. I'm going to try and put the phone up here. It's not going to be the best though. Can't guarantee anything. So we made a circle of this, right? Made a circle of this. So I was here, someone was there, someone was there, someone was there. And we did this exercise, right? You, you... Fuck. Shit. <sighs> Unfiltered videos at its finest, bro. You see the grass? Yeah, that's good enough, bro. We're in a circle and you squat down like this. And you go like this. Ooh, ah, ooh, and I'm not even kidding, bro. Literally, ooh, ah. So you're fully like moving your torso around, heating your whole body up, basically. Heating your legs up by squatting. And we're heating up as a group, you know? We're he he healing up, uh, heating up as a compound, as a brotherhood, right? And 
the beautiful thing about this, after the breath work, after feeling really lightheaded and strong for some reason, our blood is full of oxygen, our bodies are full of oxygen. It felt like if an enemy tribe or an enemy army came to us, bro, we'd all fight for each other to the death. And I can't exactly describe the feeling, but I felt like a fucking Viking. I felt primal. I felt ready for war. I felt ready to die. I felt alive, finally. After all these years of numbing my brain and feeling like shit, I felt fucking alive. And that goes on to the next part, right? Where we're primarily doing these things. And to begin with, we jump into the river. And it's only like a two meter drop. It's not really high. It's like, it's like a... It's like a very small diving board height, right? Drop into this fast flowing river and just float down over to where it slows down and we can get out on the other side of the river. So we do this, this was pretty easy. It was just a matter of, you know, we're already cold, fucking get in there, like what's the fucking point? Uh, we get in there, climb to the other side and we start climbing up the other side of the river about three, four, five, six, seven meters. And we get to this top of this cliff about to jump off this cliff seven meters high into a extremely fast flowing water we don't even know how deep it is right we just have to trust the guy we're with who does it himself and he he's fine so we know that he's experienced and that we know it's deep enough but and this, we're still shitting ourselves right we've never done anything like this into a fast flowing river like everyone says you know i'm not telling you to do this without any experienced people around you okay but everyone says to you know always be scared of cold water fast flowing water but no, be scared of it if you don't have anyone experienced around you, okay? This is, like, the most primal you can get, like, getting involved with these things, right? This is imagining, like, 10,000 years ago of tribes doing these sort of rituals to feel connected, to tell stories, to, to love each other, in a way, right? So we jump off this cliff one by one, and I'm third or fourth in line, and it made me realise... There's one guy on the side counting his down. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And I step up. I'm like, fuck it. It's my turn. Three, two, one. Didn't hesitate, bro. I was down there and I screamed like a little girl, bro. Literally, I don't want to. I don't wanna even try and do an example, bro. Because I'm gonna scare people in this park right now. <laughs> I'm gonna like get part on a sex offender list or some shit. We go down one after each other. My go. Scream like a little girl. Hit fast flowing water and i'm fine it's all good i felt fucking alive my head kicked my head comes up uh, out of the water when, once i get once i get up to the surface it's a fucking primal scream viking scream at the top of my lungs i felt fucking alive bro i felt more alive than them hundreds of hours i spent playing video games beating my meat scrolling on social media this is what we live for we don't live for this bullshit, right? It might have been painful in the moment, but I will remember that for the rest of my life. I felt alive, bro. And that's the point. Feeling alive is a matter of making memories that you will remember for the rest of your life. Feeling alive is saying, I'm gonna die here. I don't give a fuck. Long story short, it was the best weekend of my life. Those people, I went with, and there's more people watching this video, I can guarantee that, right? It was just, I can't explain it. I can't put it into words, bro. I'm so grateful for all them guys. All love, all gratitude for all them people that, you know, we're all doing it together. We're all in it together. We're all feeling alive together. Feeling primal. Doing some satanic ritual shit, right? I don't give a fuck what it is. It was awesome, all right? It was some Viking stuff. And it was just the best moment of my life, bro. You need to get out there. You need to start putting yourself in extremely uncomfortable situations, making sure you won't die doing it, but saying, you know, I'm willing to die for it. Like, if you, you kind of get what I'm saying. Put yourself in those situations, bro. Get around people that are into the same things as you, that are like-minded. Feel alive, bro. Feel alive. It's a beautiful world. Stop spending time online, bro. Check out the coaching down below, bro. Um, I want to help, guys, because I wish I realized this sooner. Peace out, bro. Peace out.